how to get a business loan for music, even with bad credit and no collateral. How does that sound to your ears? Well, I'm not going to show you how to play an instrument. I'm actually not that great. You will be the one showing me. I will show you how to get a business loan without collateral, even with bad credit, without hard credit checks, and even without interest rates. Yeah, that's right. But before I do so, my name is Michael from Viral Funding Solutions, and I come out with content like this on this channel and everywhere else. No further introduction from myself. Let me get right into it. In a moment, I will get into the share screen and show you where you can go get business funding for your current business and what you can do if you're just starting Maybe you're trying to purchase an existing business in the music space and so forth. But what you should know is there are a lot of options, a lot of different products and services. I'm sure you heard of the idle loans, PPP, grants, different types of SBA loans like the 7A, the 504 slash CDC and so forth. And then there's this other side of the equation where you have alternative lenders where they can give you funding but you're looking at more of a medium to higher interest or a medium to higher rate. And it's not bad on this side of the equation. And it's not always good on the other side where you're getting SBA type of loans. So you just have to understand one, what you can qualify for. And then two, what is the best option for you in this time and even moving forward. So there's no one specific service that only tailors to uh, musicians, people in the music space, rappers, hip hop artists, rock artists, etc. But you do have a lot of different lenders who work in this space who understand, hey, these are the underwriting guidelines we have to look at for you to get a business loan, whether you have bad credit or good credit, no collateral necessary, good. Have collateral, perhaps you want a higher amount, but the only way to access that is through asset-based lending, which is you're giving up some type of a asset, right? Accounts receivables, you can probably do uh, real estate, equipment, inventory, stocks and bonds, etc. But if you don't have any of that, whether or maybe you do, and you're like, well, I don't want to give that up, then we have unsecured financing where none of that is required. So sure, you have the SBAs. And again, you have these alternative lenders to get funding for your music business. But you also have to understand what is in between all of that. And that is the underwriting process. And so you can get accepted with as little as a 450 plus FICO, which is great, but you also have to look at what is the strength of your revenue? What is the time in business and the type of musical industry that you're in? Because there's subcategories, right? And you also have to have some other things in the background that we look at in the underwriting guidelines with underwriters and lenders. And myself as the broker who acts as the mediary to pair you up with these direct lenders and or brokerages can really show you what it will all come out to be. So if you would like to know what you can qualify for, what your best funding option and options are in a more personalized and customized setting from somebody who actually cares about you as a human being first and then business thereafter, then I have a questionnaire form for you down below in the description. You can pick up and fill out. I may show you towards the end of this video or when I get on the share screen, but you fill out some simple funding details very thoroughly. It'll land in my email inbox where then I will analyze, evaluate, and give you a proper response back via email on what your best funding option and options are, whether you qualify for something now or not. I can show you what I would do, some bonus tips, bonus material, conclusion, and a lot of stuff very thoroughly and broken down. You're gonna see some numbers and so forth. That again will be down below to check out once this, this video is done. But uh, to get a business loan for your music business, you have to understand what the use of your funds are exactly. Yeah, they're used for music, of course, but what exactly is it going for? And that can also help you determine how much funding you actually need. So it's one thing to say, yeah, I want funding. It's another thing to say, well, I want the funding to be used for getting amps, new equipment, I gotta go get a new stage if I'm doing some events or something like that. And then I need it for this other purpose. Maybe I just need it for survival money. So you have to think about if it's just survival money, then alternative lending Outside of the SBA, it's going to be more medium to high rates, which isn't bad, but you just have to understand, does the benefit of what I'm getting, is it up here and does it exceed my repayment? If so, you can move forward with it. And understand this, a pro tip, 
if you don't get all the funding you want in one shot, you can always refinance, come back after you pay off about 50% of it in 45 to 65 days or so, we can look at getting you more additional funds on top of what you already got. Perhaps you can approve you for more. We can lower the rates, increase the terms. And there's a lot of benefits. You grow that relationship. It's what you should be doing. So I'm going to get on the share screen in a moment and just less than like 15 seconds. But I do want to say this, that yes, there are those two sides. And then you got to understand the underwriting guidelines. You can get in with bad credit, but we're looking at strong revenue as well. That could override credit. But at the same time, with lower credit, you may get shorter terms. And it's not always about getting the lowest interest. It's not always about getting the longer terms or getting the monthly payments. You have to understand what the use of funds for, how long do you need to have it for, and can you even qualify for those options? So now let me get into these, this share screen here. One moment. I think this is loading. It looks like Google Chrome was not responding for a second. I think I have you back. All right. So there's a company here that I've helped out plenty of people get business funding with. It's a company called David Allen Capital Inc. where we're gonna go and find you the best offer from the best lenders out there. There's a difference between going through a direct route and going through a brokerage. If you go through a brokerage is what I really recommend because there might be a direct lender that can help you that I know specifically, but the consequence of that is you always get a cut that doesn't work out best for you. They probably tell you you need these requirements or they're gonna give you far less. So there's a lot of benefits and an upside of coming down this route. So I do all types. So I've helped out a lot of people get funding through this company, this brokerage, um, and they're going to find you the best offer possible for your music business if you are a non-startup. I'll go through some startup options in a moment, so please stick there with me. So you can get up to two million incredibly fast funding. This is not SBA funding, by the way. Um, and also the form that I was talking about, it looks like this more or less. So it'll be down below in the description. You can pick up. You can get started, fill out some simple funding details. It's confidential between you and I. I will give you a proper analysis and evaluation and respond back to you via email on what your best funding option and options are. A lot of people do this. They love it. And it really shows you like, hey, well, I want your expectations where I wanted an SBA loan. Well, you don't qualify for that. And then two, if you did, this is what the outcomes would look like, the numbers where they make sense to you. You have to wait this long, documentation and so forth. So even if you qualify for an SBA loan, it might not be the best thing to do. You might not get approved for it. So an alternative through a private lender where you can get here between four to 24 months, you don't always need the longer terms. Just know you have a company here like David Allen Capital Link where you can get up to 2 million incredibly fast funding approved within a day, funds deposited within one to two days, as much as a week, depending on your file and what we have to look at. So this is the business capital side and I'm gonna show you a few other programs, but there are more video resources on David Allen Capital Link that I've already made. Look down below in the description to view more of that if need be. And so when the big banks can't help you, we can. When the SBA can't, we can. When you can't find another form of funding, we can. And it's not all about the SBA. Sure, it's a top tier thing, but not everybody needs it. And it's not always the best use. And especially think about taking on the certain amount of debt you take on. You have to be careful of that, whether it's low or not. You have to think about how long of that. And it's better to sometimes pay something off if it feels a little bit higher in a monthly payment. But if it doesn't help you, it means you have possibly insufficient revenue on a daily basis. Perhaps you have a day, it's 100, a day, it's a 500, and then you have nothing. And then it just kind of drags on out and it's on the waves. So you have to be careful of that. And I'll show you a solution. So this is it. Qualification, it is very simple. We're only going to need a minimum of four months in business. Your business can reside anywhere in the US. If you're like in Puerto Rico or Canada, I'll have more information on that down below. I have a different alternative. Personal credit, 500 and above is all we ask for. 15,000 plus a monthly revenue. If you're not doing that, we'll ask for, uh, we'll try to reevaluate uh, re evaluate you, excuse me, for a different service. If that doesn't work, you're not doing 15,000 and above, then we have our up to 25,000 Make Breezy program. Same day, instant approval funding is what you can get here. So this is Bank Breezy. How does this one work? Immediate approvals, which is 5,000 plus per month in bank revenue, a business checking account, six months in business, a 450 plus FICO credit score, all industries are included. Uh, no exception, no personal account you're using for business. Uh, even in a lot of times, Navy Federal, you know, you're using personal accounts and stuff like this. And you have to be careful about how you're doing that. And it's best to have a business checking account. I've had a lot of people get denied because of that. Um, so make sure you have one online banking set up. That's important too, because a lot of the application process will be online and what things are going to be asked of you. A breezy online process, simple and fair, get more when you need it. Payment history will, history will earn you more. We see funds time and time again. Add-on funds are available. You can get a personalized account manager. 
Now that's the up to 25,000. These are more higher risk profiles. So if you don't get the type of daily, weekly, biweekly repayment, your monthly payment you're looking for, well, it's it says a lot about the business, right? It says that you're not head above waters. It'll be a battle of uh, your revenue. It'll be a battle of just staying up afloat. And that's just the case. Anything underneath 5,000, lenders really don't look at. I said 450 here, preferably 550 and above because of the higher risk. And a lot of lenders pull away from anything a lot of the times underneath the 550 because people end up in collections over half of the time, complain, and they try to get deferments and it just doesn't work. And that's just not the nature of all of this. So you have another option too. You have a line of credit program where this is where you can get between 5,000 to 100,000 incredibly fast. And you can withdraw and use the funds as you would like. And it's revolving. So anytime you use it, the amount you did and you paid interest off on that, it, get, get, it gets put back into the original amounts. So if you got 100,000, you took out 10,000 or you have 90,000 left over, but you use that 10,000, you paid the interest on it. It can replenish back into its original 100,000 as opposed to 90K. I hope that makes sense. Simple and fast, fueling business growth, better fee structure, receivable approval up to 100K at the moment. We could move forward from that and do a lot more. Perhaps qualification, it's simple. One year in business anywhere in the US, 550 personal FICO score, 15,000 plus per month in revenue. So, and there's some probably other exceptions, but that's what you're looking for on that front end. So that to round up this video is if you're looking for funding, oh, let me, let me touch up on this. If you're a startup business in the music industry, there is quote unquote, no true startup funding that an investor is going to give you because you have no uh, credibility. You haven't built the time in business for one, but then two, most importantly, you don't have the revenue that's even sufficient cash flow wise. And you're not above waters there where we can get you a minimum or wherever you're at. So there quote unquote is no true startup, angel investors, venture capital, crowdfunding out there, uh, SBA microloans, nonprofits, uh, microloan programs, and the list goes on and on. There are more of those start types of startup solutions. There's also a personal slash startup loan you can look at, but you have to have a high enough of a credit score. Usually we look at a 700 and above. That can get you access in with about 50,000 annually or so, taxes and our pay stubs uh, with a few other qualifications in there. But it's important that you have trade lines built and if you don't have any of that, and even at 680 and above, we can try to get you in. And then understand that if you need funding for a music business, you can use these types of startup loans and get you a hybrid line of credit on the back end through credit cards. And if you're needing help as a complete startup, I would recommend you building business credit, which I will leave a free video series for you down below in the description, but learn how to put your business together and start building business credit. So that way, when you go and apply for certain types, not all business loans report to the main credit bureaus, that one usually being done in Bradstreet, like cash advances, like a David Allen Capital I showed you, they won't report to that at the time of this. So that's an advantage if you don't have business credit. If you do, it still does fine. Either way is fine. But just think about building business credit so you can get access to over 250000 in funding that's not tied to your social security number, just to your EIN, and not your personal credit score, even in a lot of cases, and personal guarantees. So I'll leave information in that video series down below. And all the rest of the content here that you've seen on the screen, like David Allen Capital Inc., how you can get a lump sum for your music business is incredibly fast. You're going to get the best offer. And this questionnaire will be down there, which I strongly recommend you do go through in case you want to see what maybe uh, you don't qualify for now, but what would be on the table if I needed to get my credit score to this level, what would I need to do then? I give you a lot of resources and guides for it. But uh, again, this will be down below in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them for me down below in the, the comment section. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so and click that bell notification icon so you do not miss any future videos I will be coming out with. And uh, if you feel like you got value out of this, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else who you feel will get a value out of this. Maybe they're not in the same industry. Maybe they are, but you know, they're like, oh, okay, now I know what I have to go and do. You have a friend, a family member, somebody you have a complete stranger, spread the word out there. And I would greatly appreciate it. You're adding a lot of value to the world yourself. That's everything from me. Talk soon.